Well, hello everyone. I know the last video I said the next video was going to be a tour of the new toy room, volume three in our new house, but an opportunity came up that I wanted to make sure to take advantage of. I am going to be doing a quick uh, tour again of the reopened Totally Rad Toy House. Now you may remember the last time we were there, uh, Anthony, Ant-Man and I was able to go through and do a quick video tour. Um, this is one of the best toy shops in all of Nashville. And they actually took a couple extra precautions when uh, the city was opening up. They decided to open up a week after everyone else opened up. So I wanna first of all say thank you to them to make sure that they're you know, doing things safely and operating uh, efficiently and doing the right thing. So I'm gonna go in right now and we're gonna do an update of the newly opened Open, totally Red Toy House. Um, I've seen some things online that are pretty cool that I can't wait to show you. So uh, let's jump in there. I'm about to mask up myself because that's one of their rules, which I appreciate. And uh, we'll jump in and see what we got. Well, as I said, here we are at the Totally Rad Toy House. And I'm trying to make sure I speak loud enough so you can actually hear me through the mask. But just showing you some of the updates that they have. Obviously, the Toy Biz, Marvel Legends, Always have a really good selection here. And always have some of the best prices. Got the Crimson Dynamo, Build-A-Figure Wave, Task Basker. They have Black Suited Storm, pretty cool. Let's see, we got some Bandai Hulk from Endgame, SH Figure Arts. Thor Ragnarok, some Mezco. There you go, Final Battle, Captain America. From Figure Arts. Looks like they have the full Age of Apocalypse wave. And if the audio on this sucks, I really apologize. Doing the best I can through the mask. But one of the things I've always appreciated is that they have great Build-A-Figure pieces. If you're into the Marvel Legends. Toy Biz pieces, slide by, I'm sorry. These are pretty cool. Disney Vinyl Nation. I've never heard of them, but they look pretty darn cool. And for all my DC fans out there. And Turtles, have the Turtles in Time from NECA. Some of the old school turtle pieces. Mouse bot, shredder, Krang, 1988. We turn around here, have the DC Multiverse. I'll come around and look at that in a minute. But back to the turtles here. GameStop exclusives. And then this is really cool. Leonardo's Complete Evolution from the original Turtles where they all had the red headband. If you're a Turtles fan, I feel like that is a must have. Very cool.
As I said, they always take good care of their fans and their patrons. And if you just check in or say something about Instagram or Facebook on there, get 10% off. Always appreciate that. Got a Power Rangers blaster in there. Some more vintage turtles on card. You can see that Krang back there. Foot soldier. The thing that always excites me is the old toy tags of how much they used to be and where they came from. Got Metalhead, Splinter, or Slash, one of the best ones. Look at all these cool turtles. So they moved the wrestling figures around quite a bit. They're now here. Got the Hardys. Toys R Us exclusive Triple H from WrestleMania 30, it looks like. Or I'm not for sure. I guess that is 27. Not good on my Roman numerals. Bunch of loose guys. That's Lana. Seth Rollins. Hollywood Hogan. Big Power Rangers. Old school Batmobile from the animated series. Star Trek. The cool Jurassic Park things up there. And your Funko packs. Loose Funkos if you like those. I think these are old Street Fighter toys. Oops. Break it, you buy it. No. Metal Gear Solid. These are cool, incredible crash dummies. A mask, Captain Planet, Spectre Gadget from Toys R Us. Real cool bit of nostalgia. Really, really dig all these. Creepy crawlers. If I hadn't sold the rest of my lightning collection, I would have grabbed Billy here. That was the last one I needed. But I sold all those, because I'm getting ready to move, as you know. A lot of cool Power Rangers. Zeo collection, Legacy collection. The original White Tiger Zord. Looks like we got some aliens. Ghostbusters pieces. I think Planet of the Apes. Some of these things I'm not 100% sure what they are, but they look cool. More Dragon Ball Z. Street Fighters. If you're into Overwatch, Gundams, they pretty much have everything that you would want. Here we go. Matt Corn, if you're watching, this is one you need to pick up. That's a really cool piece. SH Figure Art Bowser and SH Figure Art Mario. Those are cool. Those are cool. The SH Figure Arts White Ranger. Very cool. This actually, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Got an interchangeable mouth, interchangeable paw. Good stuff. All right, now we're down to some of the Star Wars thing. That's what I'm looking forward to here. Look like they have a good mixture of loose and vintage, both three quarter and uh, it's like the vintage collection as well. Here's a vintage Wampa, 1981. Malakaili Ranker Keeper. These aren't bad prices for these actual vintage pieces. Bespin Luke. It's pretty good. The Expanded Universe. I believe that's Luke under there. Mm -hmm. 
Boss Nass. Only $2 for Boss Nass. Not bad. Repio, Anakin. I was actually talking to Order 66 Junkie, who will be joining us on the podcast, about when we were little and our hands held our three and three quarter figures, how it just felt right to us and why we kind of gravitated towards those and why maybe perhaps the adult collector now, because it feels right in your adult hand, has shifted to the Black Series. So something to think about there. And we'll make sure to be talking that on the Toil Owl podcast coming up. Pretty cool stuff. Got General Grievous here. Collector series pieces. Classic four pack. And these I'm real tempted to get. The bounty collection of the Mandalorian. All these different child slash baby Yoda pieces. So looks like they have the full set. I might get those. I might get those. Thinking about that. They also have the new snow speeder. Pretty cool. Might be a little pricey for me, but who knows? You never know. Some Black Series, some of the newer lines. I don't know if they have the new line. Looks like Zori Bliss is the only one from that. Episode one. And down here, Terminator. Family Guy. A couple more Star Wars, a couple more Ghostbusters. In hindsight, I may have to narrate over all of this. We'll see, just because it's loud and I can't really talk in this mask. Got Teddy Ruxpin. My little pony from Barbies. John Smith and Pocahontas. Pretty cool. Dig Ben. Then... Who doesn't want an MC Hammer? That's kind of cool. Uh, Princess Leia doll. Frank Sinatra. Um, California Raisins. Bunch of Smurfs down here. Always very cool stuff. A look here in the cabinet. Sorry, guys. All the old Motu stuff. Looks like they have some prototypes. Looking good. Ultron. Castle Grayskull. Snake Mountain. That looks awesome. Gamer Spider-Verse. If you need your rogue, there's a three and three quarter one. Some G.I. Joe. And some vintage Star Wars. The old 12 inch Kenner line. Death Trooper. Some more vintage figures. There's the Imperial Dignitary, that's one of the few figures I did not have originally. And then I sold it because I'm an idiot. G.I. Joe's. And then Darth Vader Hot Toys. I believe that's the New Hope version. So, a few things up here. Got the Ewok Village. With a couple Ewoks. We'll transport. And then the Blackbird. Pretty cool. 
So I think I hit everything. I'm going to look around myself now for things that I, oh, missed this up here. The adult collector two pack of Egon and Ray. I've never seen these and I don't know who uh, actually makes them. There's Slimer. Hmm, well, that's pretty cool. I might check into that. Here's the Ghostbusters once again. I think I got everything else wise here. So I'm gonna look around myself now and I'll report back at the end of anything I grab on my haul. <sighs> so, I don't know if you heard anything that I actually said in there because the mask really kind of uh, messed up what I was saying. I don't know if you heard any of it. I'll go back and rewatch it and see if I need to narrate over it. But um, I did not get anything today because as you know, we are moving and just bought a house and trying to be responsible on some things. So um, let them know that I will be back. And once we kind of get settled um, to grab a couple other things, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you are ever in the area and want to check out a awesome toy shop, please go check out the Totally Rad toy house one of the best in the entire city and one of the best i've ever been to total um, great people that own it and great people that work there and they do their best to keep everybody safe and they stock some really cool stuff as you saw so that's going to do it for me and the next video you will see will be volume three of the collection room and i can't wait to show you that that is coming real soon i'll talk to you soon be safe and i'll talk to you later